Welcome to the Designers Guild studio, very private studio, I have to say. The starting point for this autumn's collection, we, we found a beautiful costume from Central Asia. And what was so exciting about this costume is it was a real mixture of weave and print, ikat, flowers, and it was sort of wonderful, wonderful colours. And that, that's really set the seed growing from there. This is one of our mood boards. And there's a mixture of all the ingredients, from an Indian miniature to gorgeous Howard Hodgkin painting, um, some wonderful silk colours, because in fact part of this collection then went into a whole silk collection that you're seeing. And this sort of sets the scene and becomes part of the inspiration. I guess this season is sort of global glamour, uh, quite rich. There's the, a feeling of maybe a sort of more ethnic feeling, bright rich colours, but they're always tempered by soft neutrals. And, you know, colours, it's your in, intuitional feeling for colour that makes the collection really bars and work. So, very exciting, our autumn uh, 14 collections. Um, this mixture of silks and printed fabrics and velvets, a uh, whole rich mixture together. In fact, this is one of our hand-painted pieces of artwork. And this is the actual cloth that we printed on really lovely fine linen. We put a lot of investment into our origination costs because I, you know, I feel that's very, very important and it gives that handmade quality to the product. Here we have uh, an ikat, an embroidered ikat on silk this time, mixed with beautiful stripe. I love mixing pattern and stripes and planes together. Another sort of really rich silk satin stripe. That's the whole width, beautiful design, I think. And it's sort of, it, it's taken on the feeling of that first costume, but it's relevant for now. It's, it's uh, a live and innovative contemporary fabric. And then we go through to a much richer color palette. And here you can see this sort of really beautiful shaded damask. There again, all painted by hand, little bits of gold, just sort of almost stenciled onto the design. Very complicated to translate into a fabric. And I think we've um, we managed to do that really beautifully. Wallpaper's the same, same feeling. And there again, these sort of rich sample boards. And then all of that is translated into our finished products, into bed linen, cushions, rugs. Um, it's very exciting. Let's talk about flowers for a moment because they've always been such an important part of our vocabulary and we have some really beautiful flower studies that we then translate into both finished products. For instance, some of our cushions, absolutely gorgeous, painted, and then they're embroidered um, and then all trimmed beautifully. And look at some of our flower studies. So we start by painting all these beautiful flower studies and then that will end up and some of these are painted most of them are painted actually and some of them are photographed and you end up with this really beautiful uh, hyd mixed hydrangeas on a gorgeous new scoured linen so that it's very subtle um, subtle and strong at the same time So we've talked about our different textures, for instance, from velvet to really beautiful silk collection this season. And that's what we're working here. And every colorway is majorly important. So in order to get that vibrant color, we'll find little bits of textile or thread, or it's all hand painted. And all of those ingredients together, that very personal touch is what's really important to me. Wallpapers are an extremely important part of our language and we coordinate everything through so that the wallpaper shades will match, if you want it to do that, with the fabrics um, and, and with the accessories. Uh, texture is really important in wallpaper. Exactly the same emphasis on, that, on our papers as our fabrics. Or, you know, one might want to be just purely textural and just use the wallpaper and not mix and match. We try and, we try and focus on all those different areas of, of people's individual taste. So we've talked about strong color, but neutral is really important. And neutral is a color, black and white is a color. And something like this beautiful silk fabric, we saw 
in another version in all bright colors and how it changes its character. So I love using all these shades of neutrals and grays to sort of set off all the, all the brighter color. It's a very important part of our vocabulary. Love the sound of that silk, by the way. And then here we've used a really beautiful flower print in neutral and we've just added some jade and citrus color to it so that you could have a completely neutral scheme and then bring in tiny bits of color um, that just sort of set another scene. And all of that is possible within the collection. So very, very important part of our vocabulary are all these neutral shades. As well as all our pattern collections, the base of each collection we launch a new essentials or two or three new essentials which are beautiful linens, velvets, silks, mixtures of textures and that really forms actually probably half our collection and, and the basis of a very important part of our world which is plain. What's important for me is that our textiles have to be of the right quality, they have to maintain their essence and really perform well.